absolutely stunning waterfall. We've got a rainbow. Burn another day in Antalya and I don't know what happened. What's up guys and it is now officially day two here in Antalya and we have just got our bad boy rental here and we are going to be heading over to a place that is called Duden Waterfalls and it's supposed to be a really nice spot and we've got a really good deal on this rental car here so if you guys are planning to come to Antalya and rent a car um, you could get something like this for around $40 per day so not too bad we've got about 26 minute drive all the way there and we are ready to roll ready to roll love yes i am <laughs> yeah just about all right guys let's get this journey started guys we have just made it to upper Duden waterfalls and a very very hot day another hot day here in Antalya and we've got quite a few shops here as well on the way not surprised it's going to be quite touristic but hopefully we'll cool down a little bit with a fresh waterfall let's go so to get in guys it only costs 10 lira each so for two people it's 20 lira which is approximately how much it's well under a dollar to be honest yeah. i don't know the exact number but it's literally nothing yeah it's nice to actually go to a place that's not very expensive but anyway guys i'm gonna walk you through this place and it feels like a bit of a zoo to be honest but more like a chilled vibe but i'm gonna show you a little bit around of this place so as you walk in here guys you're gonna see quite a few shops so i think we can probably spend quite a long time here because i thought it was just going to be a park i didn't actually expect to have all these shops inside and people selling ice cream juices and even a restaurant here so it's quite nice okay so you know you're on a hunt for a waterfall when all you're listening out for is the sound of water dripping so we can kind of hear it and it seems like it's coming from over there all right so we're at the top of the waterfall now guys now we just need to make it to the, the viewpoint I can start to see a gorgeous, gorgeous view here. Wow, look at that, guys. The water looks so clean. Lovely, yeah. Look underneath, it looks so clean, right? Yeah, it's fresh. Green. All right, guys, so we're now heading down to the waterfall and hopefully get some better views because at the top, as always, there's always going to be the tourists. However, I used to be a tourist before. Uh, being a vlogger so i know how it is when you want to see all the sights but it's annoying when you're trying to film but still you get to see these hidden gems and places exactly like this look at that guys absolutely gorgeous it's beautiful love. i'm loving it it's like um it reminds me of cenotes in mexico if you guys have ever been to mexico before or seen those famous instagram pictures where it's got that deep blue water and kind of like a cave looking area this is exactly where it reminds me of so cenote in other words is essentially just a sinkhole and this looks very much like a sinkhole with a fort waterfall forming over it. Well, be prepared to get a little bit wet but it's going to be worth it because you're going to see that stunning waterfall there. Wow. And a few yeah. duck things. Oh, we've got some ducks as well. And of course quite a few tourists. It's around uh, 2 p.m. now, so it's not too busy. It's actually okay, but however, the water here is so crystal, crystal clear, and um, there's a bit of rubbish I'm seeing, like in the river or yeah, in this little river. So guys, if you are coming here, please keep rubbish on you until you actually find a bin, because otherwise it's going to end up like this. It's beautiful, but I'm so disappointed that people come and throw their rubbish. Please come and pick up your rubbish and leave this place as beautiful as you found it. guys this is definitely a must visit here in Antalya it's only about 20 minutes away from the main old town and when you do arrive you're gonna see that gorgeous blue water there 
with these beautiful, beautiful waterfalls coming down and it's definitely worth it, especially if you are visiting Antalya because it can get quite hot in the day. So you want to probably cool down in a place like this because you can also get a little bit wet. As you see there, it's quite, uh, well, for some people are getting soaked. Anyway, it's a nice vibe, a bit annoying with the amount of tourists taking pictures, but hey, it is what comes with life now after you know what. Guys, we've even got bats here. So if you're naughty, they're gonna bite you in the bum. Just up there, stay away. All right, guys, and that is it for the upper waterfall. However, now the next destination is the lower waterfall. Apparently this one is even more spectacular. We're just gonna head down there now and let's see yes. if it is worth going to. Hello, how are you? Got the ice cream man going crazy behind me. All right guys, we're now gonna head over to the lower waterfall and hopefully it is gonna be as good as this one. It's about, how long is it from here? Uh, I think around 30 minutes drive into Lara area. Okay, so off we go guys. All right guys, we have officially arrived at the second waterfall here, which is the Duden lower waterfall. So let's go. And let me tell you a little bit about this area. So this specific area itself is called Lara. And this is more so the beach side of things because down there is where you're gonna see the seaside. And on this side here, you've got all the high rise apartments. So it's a little bit different in terms of location when you are over in Old Town. Obviously in Old Town, you've got the hustle and bustle. However, this side of things is a little bit more chilled out and probably a bit more nicer to, if you've got like families and things like that, it's probably nice to stay on this side. Guys, it seems like we are at the top of the waterfall. We just need to find a way down though, because we can see the top bit there. Yeah, I think we can only probably see it from up. However, this area here, I'm not exactly sure what this is called, but it's like a really, really beautiful park that has got some restaurants, like a lot of greenery and a lot of families and couples around here. So if that's something that you want to come here with your family, it's probably a great place because it's very chilled out, quiet and uh, beautiful landscapes as well. There's quite a few boats over in the sea out there. And uh, you can probably do like excursions for the day where they take you out and you get to see all of that. Oh, look at this beautiful. Wow, guys, I'm absolutely blown away. Look at that huge, stunning waterfall. You've even got a rainbow going through. Stunning. Yeah, so this is what I was saying a minute ago, guys. Um, you can get a boat just like those guys down there and they bring you right outside the waterfall so you have an amazing view straight from the bottom but wow this is beautiful i wasn't expecting this guys so probably the answer to my question earlier when i said which waterfall is going to be nicer i'm probably going to say the lower one right they're both beautiful but i think the rainbow on this one just just is a cherry on the top yeah wow well, it's just beautiful <laughs> Right, guys so we are now just come on to the uh, like strip type of thing and you've got all lovely restaurants like coffee houses and like bars shisha bars and I think this area at night time is probably gonna be really vibey but for now we just found a kind of like Arabic key Turkish style restaurant on Google that we're gonna head over to and have some probably kebabs or just something to have a little break with That's right. uh, guys here's our place it's called Osman Lara Apparently it's uh, rated quite highly here, so let's go inside and check it out. Okay guys, so we've just sat down now. We've got uh, the typical Turkish bread as the uh, free starter that they give here. Some nice fresh butter. And we've just ordered some kebabs to get the bellies lined up because we've got still quite a few things to explore and show you guys in this vlog. So we're just gonna relax here with this beautiful view of the uh, ocean. Hopefully you guys can see it. I think you can very well. Yeah, there you go. Very nice. And guys, up until this point, if you've got any questions about Antalya that I have maybe not covered, feel free just to drop it in the comments below and I'll help answer them. If there's anything to do with travel, how much things cost, how long things take to get to certain places, just feel free to drop that in the comments below and I will answer them for you. As well, whilst you are here, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button as well because it really does help these videos and it helps me make more for you guys. Okay 
right, so food is officially here. We've got like the Adana style kebab again, which again, as you guys know, it's a very famous style kebab here in Turkey. It's like a strip of minced meat, just like this, with a bit of um, onions and tomato and very thick styled rice as well. Ready to munch? Yes. Looks this good, is right? not spicy, but it looks so yum. Okay guys, we literally just got the bill for all of that food and we basically had two drinks, two main meals and they brought us some bread and like a butter starter to start off with in the beginning and all of that came to 450 Turkish Lira which is 21 pounds and in dollars, 24 dollars and 65. So considering where we're actually sat, it's not bad because it's very, very fancy-ish fancy -ish type of restaurant and it's a beautiful view so overall the food was also really really good so i'll leave the details of the restaurant here as well so if you are walking by probably worth coming in and just uh, giving it a go as well all right guys and that is that lunch stop officially over i definitely would recommend it if you are in town because the food was absolutely delicious so where are we going now so now we are going to Sandland. It's an open air museum with incredible sand sculptures. Okay, well let's check that out because we heard that when you're in Italia it's a must see place. So guys, before we head over to our journey, we're going to probably stop off here and grab a mocha frappa on our journey just to get the energy levels back up. If you are like a digital nomad here in Antalya, there are a lot of these cafes that you can come and work from. Like this one here where we're stopping off and grabbing a coffee. We've got a lot of nice desks and I see quite a few people actually here with their laptops. So it seems like uh, the digital nomad community here in Antalya is quite good because they do cater for it with having a lot of cafeterias and places like that. Alright guys, we've just got our mocha frappers. Let's give it a good old taste. Oh, it goes with my shirt too. And this little dog. Anyway, let's give it a go. Oh yeah, that's definitely, definitely hit the spot guys. How's yours? Amazing. Nice, cheers. Really good, chin -chin. Time to get the journey on the way guys. I think we are, how far away from the sand place? It's only about 10 minutes drive from here. It's in Lara area, so we are uh, close to everything around the okay. area basically. guys we have made it to the sand museum hopefully it's going to be worth it never been to a sand museum before the car is locked and let's roll you ready to go in yeah it sounds very inviting Cool is this guys you gotta have some serious talent to be able to sculpture these incredible i'm a leo by zodiac sign wow i'm the king of the castle right <laughs> all right guys i'm gonna let you have a guess at who this guy is if you can see him he's a good mate of mine leonardo da vinci got the ancient Egyptian pyramids here so amazing and so incredible how they build this stuff well a little bit has come off that one there not a bad timing for the vlog but it really is amazing how do they even preserve it so that the sand doesn't even like crumble because it actually looks like hard stone but obviously just remember it literally is just sand it must take so long to actually create these things if any of you guys that are watching are sand sculptures or I've done this before drop a comment in the uh, comment section below and let me know I would love to see some of your work because this is amazing guys so what you see here is called a Mars Tog and essentially this is something that is being created by SpaceX and the famous Elon Musk and what it's saying here is that the first uh, SpaceX spaceship in 2024 is gonna land on Mars and what his plan essentially is is to create a, a habitable life for people to actually go over there and he's apparently getting that already now so hopefully soon there's gonna be tickets to fly to Mars that was 
a quite an interesting place. What did you think of it? Oh, I loved it. Uh, it was like being in a, um, you know, Star Wars movie or something like that. <laughs> yeah, they had all this like uh, mystical music as you walk in and you walk around. So it's quite cool, quite nice. Uh, definitely, I think it's a bit pricey for what it is in my opinion, but she loved it. Yeah, and you have to appreciate the, the time and effort that goes into building these massive structures. So I thought eight euros um, was a fair price, to be honest. Yeah, well, guys, we're now going to head over to Lara Beach and probably try to catch sunset there. So, guys, we've just chilled, uh, well, should I say parked up here over at Palms Beach. And it looks like a really lovely establishment. We've got like the beds there that is going to overlook the sunset, which is just setting currently. And we've also got a public beach, which is on the other side, but there's not much going on there. So we're just going to relax here, probably grab a drink and just hopefully uh, watch the sunset. We were going to go on the public beach, but I don't see any like seats or anything where we can just relax. So we'll just chill here over at Palms Beach with the Turkish music in the background. evening to an end we're gonna go home now and get some rest and we'll see you in 24 hours in the morning where we've got more special places to show you here in Antalya oh, what's up guys it's uh, been another 24 hours another day in Antalya and I don't know what happened today but somehow I've woken up in the upside down <laughs> <laughs> only joking let me just show you guys this awesome place that we've stumbled across here in Antalya it's basically an upside down house in the middle of nowhere but let me show you guys how cool this place is so guys this place that you see here is literally like an upside down I wouldn't call it a museum but it's basically like a house and every room that you come inside it's got like your pool table, you've got your uh, foosball table, everything literally is upside down. And what you do, you lay on the floor like here and you can get awesome photos, which I'll just show you after uh, some of these clips that I'm talking over. Um, but yeah, not too bad, quite a funky thing that you can do. Probably worth adding it to your to-do list here when you come to visit Antalya, especially if you've got some kids as well, because it's going to be a good laugh. And the people that work here will help you get some cool shots. And also, if you wanted to watch some TV here, you can, but it's going to be upside down and you can grab some things in the upside down fridge maybe we can uh, head to the toilet ever, ever wondered what upside down toilet look like I'll show you guys And this is it here guys, the upside down house. It's literally amazing. We stumbled across this place online and they said that you have to come and check it out. And it costs $10 per person. It may sound a little bit punchy just to go into a house, but when you're inside, it's super fun because this lady over here helps you get all like really cool photos of the whole place. You can also get some cool videos as well. So if there's something that you fancy whilst you're here in Italia, just have a bit of uh, funky fun, then uh, probably worth coming and checking it out. Right, guys we have come over to a place now called Big Chefs over at the beach area and we're just gonna grab some breakfast because we haven't had anything all day since we got up today in the upside down house however we're in a new area today which is called Konyalti and it's right outside this beautiful blue water just over there so apparently this place has got really good food so let's try it Uh, guys, so I'm just going to go for a Turkish breakfast here and one thing when you do come to Turkey or Antalya or Istanbul, wherever you are, make sure you order, order one of these famous breakfasts here because they come with an assortment of everything and let me just show you. So usually you can get this for two people, however, because there's three of us today, uh, we're going to get it for three people and they just adjust it for, they adjust the price for however many people you want, they can just add to it or reduce. So. This typically for three people is costing $24, which is approximately, well, it's actually 450 lira. If you wanted it for two people, it costs 295, which is $16. And to be honest, it's not bad for the amount of food that's gonna come.
Okay guys, so let me just talk you through this incredible Turkish breakfast. So we've got some uh, sunny side up eggs, some bread, some basically they call this sunjo. It's a Turkish style sausage fried. And we've got some potatoes, we've got some olives, jam and honey and cheese. It's amazing. And loads of other bits which I'll tell you about shortly. And a whole lot of cheese. All right guys, that is that incredible Turkish breakfast officially finished. Now we're just gonna head over with the girls and we're gonna look for kind of like a beach club or somewhere just to relax and enjoy this day because it is a lovely sunny day here in Antalya. So guys, after spending probably the last hour just getting sunset here at this beautiful beach club, we're now just gonna head over to an area here that's close to the beach. Apparently, it's like a promenade where it has those of restaurants to have some dinner and enjoy some sunset views. But overall, being at this place called Lucky Beach has been really, really nice. Um, there are some public beaches where you can chill on, but I recommend probably coming somewhere like here because you have a little bit of private time as well. And also you have some tunes playing, you've got people serving you food and all in all, it didn't cost too much. I think, if I remember correctly, it's about, <laughs> okay, so unfit, about 60 uh, lira per person for bed and the food wasn't too expensive, but I'll leave all the prices just down below here, just so you can also see what they are for yourself. So guys, what you will find when you come and stay, if you come and stay at this part of Antalya, is all of those apartments up there. And what they all face is this beautiful beach to the right. So when you are searching here, I'll leave probably some details down below for you guys to check out this specific area for when you guys, if you did want to book Antalya. But personally, if you're on a beach holiday, I recommend probably staying here because it's so, so beautiful. You've got restaurants, you've got the beach, you've got good vibes. And overall, the, let's say communication, not communication, the, uh, direction for you to get to certain places around here isn't too bad so again i probably would recommend renting a car when you come here and a company that i recommend is again i'll leave their details down below so you guys can also rent from them they'll deliver the car to you and they can pick it up so really good guys so as you can see guys even here behind me there are more beach clubs this one is called red Budge, no red bull, but red budge. No, red ruji. So as you can see, they've got lovely sunbeds down there, all red, and they've got some cabanas as well. So if you want an extra level of privacy, you're here with your family, you could rent out a cabana and enjoy that beautiful sea just over there. So guys, as you walk towards the promenade where we're currently going now, you'll find loads of beautiful coffee shops just like this, overlooking the sea with the beautiful sunset. So if you just wanted to go and grab a coffee after you finish your sunbathing at a beach club, you can do that as well. And uh, you had a good time? Amazing time. Yeah, did you enjoy the beach club? Love the beach club, love the breakfast. Just, yeah, Cognati is my favorite place in Antalya. Yeah, highly recommend coming here, guys. It's very, very chilled out, very nice. A lot of nice places to eat. And the area is just really, really family friendly as well. Okay guys, so we've picked a spot here that's called Northmen. It looks quite nice, got a good vibe to it, got tunes playing, so let's see what the food is saying. Oh, let's see, let's try this out. And guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button and I'll see you all on the next adventure.